Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, folks, we know that Vladimir Putin did uh, meet for about 15 minutes with President Barack Obama in China uh, during an economic summit, but very little was said. Now, now uh, the G20 summit is going on in Australia, and we have word that Vladimir Putin is leaving early. Uh, according to the information coming out of Australia, Vladimir Putin has quit the G20 summit early in Australia, saying he needs to get back to Moscow by Monday or tomorrow after enduring hours of bow beating, literally brow beating, by a secession of Western leaders urging him to drop his support for secessionists in eastern Ukraine, talking about the pro-Ukrainian rebels in eastern Ukraine. They're saying, look, you got to quit supporting them. you got to quit funding them. I mean, you basically need to quit sending your own soldiers to helping them or even tanks and everything else you're doing. Uh, with the European Union poised this week to extend the list of people subject to asset freezes, the Russian president individually met with five European leaders, including British Prime Minister David Cameron and German Chancellor Angela Merkel, where he refused, Putin refused to give ground on this issue. Putin instead accused the Kiev government of a mistaking economic blockade against the cities in eastern Ukraine and that have declared the independence and votes organized in the past month. He said the action was short-sighted, pointing out that Russia continued to pay the salaries and pensions of the Chechnyans throughout its battle for independence, <clears throat> justifying his early departure, Putin said, it will take nine hours to fly uh, and then another eight hours for me to get to Moscow. I need four hours sleep before I can get back to work on Monday. We have completed our business. In other words, I've had just about enough. But he did sit there and listen to um, hours of criticism and browbeating by Western leaders. He did meet independently with five different Western European, I should say European leaders. He didn't meet with President Barack Obama, but uh, he did meet with others. So I, I'm sure Vladimir Putin understands the situation, and uh, he certainly still holds his position of basically saying, I am defending the Russian people, the pro-Russian speaking people of eastern Ukraine. He's already annexed or taken over Crimea. He's in the process of taking over eastern Ukraine, there's no doubt. And then he will go after the three other Baltic states that are there. And that will be the uh, rebuilding of the old Soviet Union. Or if you look in Ezekiel chapter 38, it's the formation of Magog. Magog. Uh, certainly, uh, that is very, very significant if you look at it from a biblical prophetic standpoint. Now, does Putin have a point in some of these? Yes, he does. Uh, the, the Americans, the European Union, some of the uh, on the West have tried to strong arm him in the past, and I think he's pushing back heavy. But at the same time, you know, <clears throat> this is causing the world to be very volatile, extremely volatile, that this ice-cold war between America and Russia has begun. But remember, it was Mitt Romney uh, back in 2012 who warned us of this very thing would happen. He said the biggest threat to America is pro, the pro-Russian aggression, both militarily and economically. Uh, that would face European nations and eventually America. And people uh, scoffed him to scorn. Well, now we're living in it, and we're going to have to find out which way this thing goes. We've got radical Islam loose. Uh, we have got uh, all types of uh, wickedness. And then, of course, the earth itself is violent, fulfilling biblical prophecy. It's as if we're in the days of Noah. 
Jesus said it would be as the days of Noah uh, and the days of Lot before he comes. And I'm telling you right now, uh, they're calling evil good and good evil. So we are seeing biblical prophecies fulfilling themselves before our very eyes. Do not miss tonight's live, Sunday Night Live. We'll be broadcasting it live from YouTube, as well as my website at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com and also the other uh, links that we use, including the Worldwide Network, Blog Talk Radio, and old and new live streams, okay? So don't miss tonight. It will be powerful. It will be prophetic, and it will be at 7 p.m. Eastern, Lord willing. We're back, and we've got a lot of work to do in the next few weeks uh, before we go to New York City to preach at Harvest Army Church in January the 18th. 19th, 20th, and 21st. Between now and then, we've got a lot of Bible prophecy analyzation and a very powerful prophetic word coming forth, and we want to share it and make sure the body of Christ is aware. And my next question is to you. Are you saved? Have you been born again? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Please give your life to Jesus Christ. We're running out of time.